Live Portrait got released a few weeks ago and allowed us to take a driving video and image and animate the image to mimic the video like the examples on screen. The team has had some really big updates this month and in this video I'd like to share those updates with you. first one that they did was they supported audio and video concatenation which sounds something like this video on screen. That was really impressive with the audio from the source actually coming across into your animated final video. The next big one they did, which was released on the 19th was V2V, which is video to video, which allowed you to give a source video like usual, as well as an input video, which is something similar to this example on screen. Very cool. And here's another example on screen. I obviously had to try this out myself uh, as I was really interested if it would work locally on my machine. Unfortunately, the Comfy UI node did not have the updates installed, but the GitHub repository did have a Gradio interface which I could use locally on my machine. I'll show you in this video on how to install and get it up and running. But basically, I took an input uh, image and I put one of my favorite artists on the right to see if the audio synced up to me and what it looked like. And this is the result on screen. I want you, I need you, oh God, don't take these beautiful things that I've got, please stay. I want you, I need you, oh God, don't take these beautiful things that I've got, oh. Some other updates they did do, which was quite interesting, they released a hugging face space. So basically what this is, is it allows you to test out this allow portrait without a GPU. So you can come in here and put in some of these examples. And all you would do is you would just basically put the image in or load your own image and then go down here and then select uh, animate. And this just really tests it out and you can check it out without running a hectic GPU, which is really cool to see they've done this. Another update they've done for Mac OS, they've enabled Mac OS support as well as Apple Silicon as well, which is really cool to see they're supporting other platforms, not just Windows. Another big update was around animal support. You can see now it supports animals' faces. For example, you can see these dogs and koalas on screen, as well as some other ones, which is really fun and interesting. Lastly, they obviously had a Gradio interface built into this, which has the source image over here. So you can upload a source in video and then do the V2V as well. Uh, the cool things they've done is they've done auto cropping as well on the videos. So you can see here auto cropping as well as here. They've also got some new ticks over here, which make it super easy to use. They've also got um, more updates in terms of the output imaging and comparison, as well as some over here retargeting you can see you can actually retarget the face and you can adjust the retargeting based on this you can see this is way heavy and then if you want to dial it back a bit you can say retargeting and then it adjusts the r's if you want to adjust the mouth adjust the mouth like that and then the r's all the way to the top so the r's will pop out uh, and then adjust the model based on that so really cool interface is really slick and clean So to quickly uh, get this started, all you guys need to do is you need to follow these instructions on this GitHub. Just go in, clone the repository, do these commands. You've got to have Conda installed as well, which is quite easy to do. And then you can also do this pip install requirements. The requirements then will go and install. 
you'll then go and get it to, uh, to install the pre-trained weights as well once you've installed all the weights then what you can do is you can actually start the gradio interface by running path and app.py and what this will do is then bring up a local host over here in your console you'll see all the details so if you guys are interested in ar arts check out this video on critter and yeah i'll check you guys next time see ya